up welcome back to another vlog um today is saturday i actually have to leave in the next 15 minutes to go get my car service so we're gonna make this quick but i have a plant that i got for free so it's kind of let me put you on my i have a plant i think it's like an ikea plant it's not like the best quality plant and i'm gonna put it on my balcony but I got it for free from my office. A client left it behind and they said I could have it. So I'm gonna put it on my balcony. It doesn't have like a nice pot. So maybe we'll go and look for one today. It's just like a bamboo plant, but it, it definitely doesn't look even the slightest bit real, but it doesn't matter. It's going on my balcony. I think it looks good there because it's too short to put behind the chair you can't really put it anywhere else because our grill is right there but I can get like a new pot I think it adds to the balcony it makes it look a little bit homier I like sitting out here in the mornings so it's gonna be nice to have this out here as well. getting my car serviced and then I went to Costco because there's a Costco right by the dealership and the mall which were right next to each other so I'll show you what we get from Costco we basically get this every time we go there's a few new things that I've never tried but I wanted to show you um, just in case you're kind of like on the fence of getting a Costco membership but it's so worth it so I got these the everything Frank's in a blanket thought they would be good for like snacks on the weekends like when football's on all day on sundays thought this would be good to just have as like a snack or something like that always good to have stuff like this in the freezer in my opinion and also always good to have pizzas in the freezer just for like easy lunches or dinners when you don't want to go out spend money or go out at all so these pepperoni pizzas are so good they get crispy if you like them crispy they're thin crust I got these dates because I want to make those healthy Snickers. I want to try them. So I got those for that. I saw them there and I was like, you know what? You want to do this? Here they are. Just get them. So I got them there. This is weird, but you got to trust me on this. I've been eating this since I was young. I'm sorry, Christian's on the phone. I've been eating this since I was young. So you know how when you're young, your parents feed you certain things and you like tend to buy them as an adult. At least I do. So I would get this at Costco and it's so good. Don't knock it till you try it. Don't, don't judge it by its appearance after you cook it. Trust me, it is so good with mashed potatoes and mixed vegetables. It's like a really good hearty home cooked comfort food meal. It's really good. We got our salmon there. So this is one of the proteins that doesn't come vacuum sealed. So I have a vacuum sealer and we just vacuum seal it ourselves. So we'll put two fillets in 
a bag and then that will be dinner for both of us. We get these. I've had these before and um, I actually bought them the last time we went to Costco, but they're really, really good. You heat them in the oven. I think they take like 50 minutes to heat up in the oven, 50 to 60 minutes, so like an hour, probably only like one or two of these, but then we have lunch the next day. Chicken, we get all of our chicken there and these come vacuum sealed. You just gotta separate them. You can separate them without breaking the seal of them. And then ground beef. This is what Christian and I eat for lunch for our meal prep. So you just cut them down the line right here and these are already vacuum sealed. So they freeze, thaw, and cook really well. So that's our little Costco haul, basically dinners for a month or three to four weeks. So. Say bye to Lauren. Say bye. Okay, I decided to go ahead and make the healthier Snickers now. So I'm just gonna use chocolate chips, dates. I'm gonna use oat milk because that's all I have and I'm gonna use peanut butter because that's what I have. And then I guess I'm gonna use pink, pink salt because I don't have sea salt and I'm not going to the store just to buy salt. And then I think you freeze them for two hours. So I'm gonna make these and then we'll taste them on camera and let you know if it's any good. Okay, here is what they look like after I stuff them with the peanut butter, dip them in the chocolate, and sprinkled salt on them. So now I'm gonna put them in the freezer for two hours. So it's 5.42 now, so at basically eight o'clock. I'm gonna pull them out and try them, and they'll be like the perfect dessert for after dinner. So I'm excited. And I also have to take that to the dumpster, so please ignore. <laughs> I just cleaned the whole apartment, like deep cleaned it, scrubbed the shower, scrubbed the floors, dusted, all the things. Having one of these, Taylor bought them and left them here. So they've been sitting in my fridge for like two months now, for like a month and a half. So I'm gonna have it. I've never had the white wine with bubbles. I've had the red wine, which is interesting. And then I've had the Babe Rose one, which is really good too. But um, we're cooking the stuffed peppers. Sorry, the lighting's so weird here in my cabinet. This is what they look like. They are absolutely incredible. Okay, so here are the dates after being in the freezer for two hours. They look really good. But we're gonna try them. I'm gonna let you know how they are. Expected them to be crunchier because they were in the freezer. Not so soft. 6.8. I rate it like an 8.5. You're always at a very high rate. I'm making those quesadilla things that I made last weekend for breakfast again. This is the seasoning that I used. I think I'm gonna re 
organize this cabinet. I think I'm gonna take those out of this cabinet and put them in this one and then move my wine glasses up there because I don't use them all the time and then really fill out this area with all these cups because I just recently got these cups and I'm just kind of shoving them in here. They could be organized differently. So I'm gonna move those, move those up there and then rearrange this right now. can't even tell what anything is because it all is like glass but this is how I organized it I have all the wine glasses and champagne flutes and um, shot glasses up there and then I have like all my double insulated cups mugs type things or I guess this is a mug um, Regular mugs like Nespresso mugs, Nespresso cups, just regular cups, some mugs that just don't have a pair. My Christmas mugs back there. My other Nespresso mugs that are the, the Origins mugs. These fun cups. And then these I have like six of because they came in like a pack of six. I think I need to get rid of some cups but for now this will do. So this is that. Kind of organized this as best I could. Can't really organize it. And then our cups, like our lids to these are in there, but. Okay, I just got home from the grocery store and Sephora. I'm gonna show you what I got from Sephora. So this is the cleansing balm that I got. The Inky List. Looks like this. Really hard to open with one hand, but I'll try it on camera tonight and let you know how it is. But it was 10 bucks. You can also leave it on for 10 minutes for an, as a nourishing face mask. Wow, that's really cool. Okay, so. That's the cleansing balm that I got. Let me grab the cleansing balm that I've been using and loving, but I can't find it anywhere. So this is the cleansing balm that I love. It's the Pond's cleansing balm. I was running low on it and this is what it looks like. I was running low on it. So I went to the store looking for it and I couldn't find it. So I got this, which was a mistake. This doesn't take off your makeup at all. And it claims to be a makeup remover and I feel like people rave about this it doesn't take my mascara off at all but being me I can't throw away a product so I've been using it because I can't throw it away so I still use it because I can't just waste the money and throw it away so I'll be using that <laughs> till it's done and then this has a little bit left so I'll use that too but um this has been my favorite cheap cleansing balm. It's better than the Clinique Take the Day Off. This like completely becomes an oil. So that's why I like this one's $10, but I can't find it in store anymore. You can only order it and sometimes I just don't have time for that. So I'm gonna try this $10 cleansing balm and I love how you can wear it as a mask. So got that. I got the caffeine eye cream because I use the banana bright eye cream but it doesn't do anything for me if anything I have dark circles and they're hereditary and also I broke my nose when I was young and I have like permanent dark circles it goes all the way up the side of my nose this brings too much attention to my dark circles it just shines underneath my eyes and it brings a lot of attention to it which I hate so I don't like wearing this without makeup on because it just brings too much attention to underneath my eyes and 
just not into it. I know people love this, but personally for me, I don't. So I got this, I think this was $10 too. I also got this toner, this Glow Dark Spot Toner. Since summer's over, I'm just trying to even out my skin tone. And then I got some of their cotton pads. So that's it. I'll let you know if this is good. I've heard really good things about it and I've been wanting to pick it up. It's been in my Sephora cart for a really long time. <laughs> I like add stuff to my Sephora cart over like the course of the year and then I'll periodically pick stuff to buy it and then whatever else I don't buy by the end of the year I purchase as a Christmas gift to myself. So it's a little Sephora haul. I'll use this tonight. I'll let you know how this is. These are both super cheap so if they're good I'll let you know. We are getting P.F. Chang's for dinner to go right now. It's a little bit later, or it's a lot later, I guess. It's like 8 o'clock. What time is it? Um, it is 8 o'clock. I meal prepped our lunches for the week. I've showed that, like recently I showed it in the work week of my life. We're basically eating the same thing. We're not sick of it yet. <laughs> we're gonna run that meal prep into the ground and we're never gonna want to eat it again i don't know what it is i could just like when i find something i like i can just eat it over and over and over again and when i know it's like super satisfying it's easy to meal prep it holds well it reheats well it's good on day four i'm just gonna make it and it's healthy and it keeps me on track and it keeps me in a routine and makes me feel good so I can't wait to um, do the fortune cookie. It's my favorite. Okay, we just finished up with dinner. We're gonna do the cleansing balm that I got today together. We're gonna test it out and see if it's good. I'm gonna get my face wash. So I got my face wash and my little Oreo. but first impression it did a really good job i still have to wash my face so i'm gonna go in and wash my face it leaves like a slight film which it's ten dollars so you, you got a double cleanse with it but i think it took off my makeup really well it didn't like clump together or anything it came out really smooth I'll link this down below just in case you guys want to try it out for yourselves. I mean, it's $10, so what do you have to lose? But I really like it. I think it took off my makeup really well. I'll definitely be repurchasing it. I'm going to shower and get ready for bed, and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. I just grabbed our comforter out of the dryer, and it's so warm. Anyways, I just wanted to go ahead and end off this video. I'm going to get ready for bed and get ready for the work week so i will see you guys when i pick up the camera next weekend but i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you're subscribed give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in my next video bye